Hi guys and welcome to a Cumbrian Lad Outdoors and welcome to today's video. We've just had a lovely walk through the Borrell Valley, through Grange, retracing my steps on day three of the Cumbria Way and it brought back some really happy memories. If you haven't seen those videos, if you click on my channel, scroll down a few, you'll see my two videos on the Cumbria Way. Today we are heading up Maiden Moor. Now we could have walked up over Cat Bells, but I have done that before. So like I say, we walk through Grange, we're gonna go around Manistee and we're gonna cut up the side path to Maiden Moor and get some cracking views over Derwent Water. As usual, I've got some pals with me. We're meeting up with Camping Dan 85 on the way, but at the moment, we have got the return of the one and only Mooster Man, oh yeah. Great to have you back out, mate. Great to have you back out. Been a while since I camped with Mooster, so really, really, really looking forward to this one. It's gonna be a cracker. That way is Grange. The path just to my right is the one that we took to walk around Derwent Water on day three. At the moment, we're following this road, and that up there is Maiden Moor, where we're gonna be spending the night. So for now, we will crack on. We have just been following the road through Grange and Manistee, and we've reached the point in the road where we're gonna turn left and head up to Maiden Moor. You can see there the road we've been following with Castle Crag in the background. Some lovely views over towards Surprise View and that area, Borrowdale area. But this is where we turn off the road onto the path for Maiden Moor. Like I said, I have done cat bells before. I always like to try and keep the channel fresh as much as I can. So this is why we've chosen this particular route up to the top. And of course it's Mooster's first, or second outing actually, in a long time. So we're just working on Mooster's fitness a little bit as well. As you can see, we've got the weather for it, baking hot today. So we've got the sunglasses on and the cap for us follically challenged people is an essential. So for now, we're gonna crack on. And of course, I'll bring you back along the way for the views when they open up. We are starting to ascend a little bit now. You can see the views are opening up. I've got just the first glimpse of Dermot Water, but I don't think the camera will pick it up through the trees. As you come up the path from the road, it splits into two and we need the left-hand side. I tell you what, I've seen some sharp dressed folk in my life walking the mountains, but nothing, nothing like we've seen today. Apparently there's a few folk just got married up on the top of Catbells. So we've had full on wedding dresses with walking boots walking past us. I didn't feel like I could ask them for, for a bit of video like, which is not like me, cause I'm not a shy guy, but we've just seen camping Dan, the crumble man and his two boys catching us up. So we're gonna have a little bit of a rest here and let them catch up. While we do that, we'll just have a quick look around as well. So you can see there, we have ascended quite a bit now. We are above these trees, looking directly over to Surprise View. And we have got our first glimpse proper on the trail of Derwent Water. You can see Blencathra in the distance there. And that is our path up to Maiden Moor. I am just a little bit ahead of everyone else and I've reached the first proper little flat plateau for a rest. So while I wait for camping Dan, Mooster Outdoors and the two kids to, to catch up, we'll just take some of these views in, man. <laughs> I love the Lake District, man. Here's Dan's two boys slowly catching us up. There's Mooster and Dan just looking back down the valley. Got some lovely houses in this woodland on the edge of Derwent Water. Look at this. What a day for it. Keswick, now clearly in view. I reckon about another 20 minutes till we get somewhere up there. And then we do have to take a left on towards our destination for the evening. As you can probably tell, the heat is definitely kicking in. We're all sweating profusely. So I will be taking five minutes here while everyone else catches up. Well, we have reached the top of the path. We now have a, an option to go right to take us to Cat Bells. Obviously, we are turning left to go to Maiden Moor. Me and Dan's two boys, we're just sat having a, another rest waiting for Mooster and Dan to turn up. 
and the views have opened up really well. That little path just there is where we're going to be going, just over that and then dropping down to Maiden Moor. But look at this. What a day for it. The cloud has subsided, the sun is out to play. It's beaten down really hard. Here's Mooster and Dan. And great views, man, great views. Like I say, we'll follow this path here, round to the left, up over there. And let me tell you something, that first beer at beer o'clock will last about 30 seconds. <laughs> I'm not joking, yeah. <laughs> we are just on the top of that little rocky outcrop now. Got a clear view of the summit of Cat Bells. Quite a few people on there. Grisdale Pike has just gone out of shot of the camera. And that little summit there, looks like that is where we're heading. Maiden Moor. And we are definitely taking regular breaks on this. I can already feel my lips starting to dry up. Drinking plenty of water, I've already drank a litre of water. It's red hot, not that I'm complaining. Yeah, another five minutes here and then we'll crack on. We are almost at the top of Maiden Moor. And let me tell you, these views have opened up beautifully. I think Mooster and Dan are struggling with the heat a little bit. And once again, they are just catching up, but to be fair, I can't blame them. It's only because of my training for the Cumbria Way that I'm a lot fitter than I used to be. Right, let's get up that top and I'll show you the views. And here we go. Maiden Moor. Done. Boshed. You can see why they call it a moor. Flat, really, undulating. Great views. Down the Borodal Valley is slightly blocked, but look at this. Derwent Water, Glencathra, Cat Bells, Skidder, Bass Lake, Grisdale Pike. Absolutely stunning. And it looks like there's loads of places to pitch up here too. It's going to be a cracking sunset tonight, hopefully. And of course, it'll be a cracking laugh with Mooster and Dan. It is most definitely time to go and have a look and see where we're going to pitch, get the chairs up, and of course, crack that first beer. So we'll see you very soon. That's us all set up now. We've been sat out for a good couple of hours, just chilling, taking all the views in. And trust me, that first beer tasted amazing. So let's have a look at tonight's setup. I am in the one person ultralight trekking pole tent from Nightcap. I've got my C to Summit Etherlight XT Extreme in there, but I have downgraded to my OEX Rome 100 one season sleeping bag because it's very warm. It's got my usual electricals and what have you in there. Got my jet boil, pulled pork reel term out for tea tonight. Wayfarers all day breakfast for morning. Pretty standard for me. Got my OEX chair there. Absolute lifesaver that. If anyone's got a bad back, like I have, I recommend you get a chair. Dan's two boys are in the Lanshan too. And Dan is in his favourite tent, the OEX Bobcat 1. Tactical Duck has had a few too many beers. If you know, you know. And if you don't, I can't tell you. Mooster Man is just finishing getting set up. He's in the Nordisk Telemark 2.2. Lovely wide tent that. For a wide person. For the wide, <laughs> yeah. moose has been out the game a bit, so he's done well to get up here today. I'm super proud of you, mate. Thank you very much, mate. It was a hard one, but I did it. You did, mate. I did it. Um, but yeah, Mooster's in the Nordish Telemark 2.2, and look how wide that tent is. Lovely porch space. Fantastic tent. So we just stood on the summit here. The sun is just and so starting to go down. Looking down the valley, we've got all our tents here set up, 
ready to go. Cracking view of Grisdale Pike, Bass Lake, Cat Bells, Dirt Water. Absolutely brilliant place to come and camp this. I can't recommend it highly enough. So we are gonna go and chill for a little bit more and it's time to get some food on. My stomach is growling something chronic. I'll not bring you back for the food. You've seen me scram that stuff so many times. So like I say, we're gonna sit and chill and have a good crack with the lads and I'll bring you back before it's bedtime. Well, I don't know, I feel better for me food. We've been sat out for ages, but the wind is really cold, su surprisingly. Um, so I've had to get in the tent. My hands are really chilly, to be, to be fair. So, um, yeah, I'm just getting in, in my tent, going to chill out for a while. Hopefully this, this wind drops a bit. But, um, yeah, that, that's about it for tonight. So we're all kind of getting in our tents now to get out the wind and... It's far too early to be going to sleep, but yeah, it's just cold sit, sitting out, man. So yeah, I probably won't bring you back be before bedtime. That's me in my tent now. So um, I've got some nice photos and some drone footage. I hope you enjoy that overnight and hopefully I'll get a nice sunrise in the morning. So we'll see you then. Phone on during the time lapse, so that should come up really good. 
I'm just going to sit down and watch this. Wait for everyone to get up. And then it's breakfast time. Well, that's the Mooster man just getting up now. He took uh, one quick look out of his tent and said, wow, at this uh, sunrise. Probably one of the best I've had at camp, to be fair. Got some little bits of mist and that over the mountains in the distance. <laughs> Fantastic. Quite hazy and misty up the Boridal Valley. Absolutely stunning this morning. Look at that. You can see one tent on Cap Bells, and I've seen a couple of early morning walkers as well. Just up towards Bass Lake. <laughs> Just absolutely jaw droppingly beautiful. Perfect to have breakfast too as well. Well, I don't half feel better for my breakfast. That was much needed. There is a little bit of a nip in the air still, but we're starting to feel the, the heat of the sun as it's rising. Unfortunately, it's almost that time that all wild campers here, time to go home. Mooster man's just finishing up, getting packed away. <clears throat> Another five minutes, he'll be ready to go. Dan and the two boys are ready, as am I. You can see where we had our tents last night. Our rucksacks ready to go with the rubbish bags. So as always, and as it should be, we have left no trace. And one final look around from the summit of Maiden Moor before we head back to the car. I highly recommend you come up here for a wild camp. The views are nothing short of absolutely spectacular. Thank you very much for clicking on the video. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we all have. So once again, until next time, Stay safe, much love from a Cumbrian lad.